It's a case that has proved difficult to crack with many twists and turns, multiple versions coming out of what truly transpired on that fateful day. And the, the five men accused, they insist they're being used as scapegoats. Well, let's speak to criminal law expert advocate Llewellyn K. Lewis to weigh in on this ongoing case that's going to resume tomorrow morning at 10. Advocate K. Lewis, thank you very much for your time. I mean, we have another postponement, the prosecution introducing new statements. The defense, we understand today, saying uh, of some of their suspects that they need to study the new statements and then the trial will resume tomorrow. Your comment, please. Yes, well, uh, obviously, it's in the interest of justice that uh, the defense team have the opportunity to, to get uh, to know the contents of the allegations to face. And if that means that it uh, ensures a further postponement, well, then that is what, the, what must happen here. Um, obviously, the discretion is always uh, in the hands of the presiding officer uh, to adjudicate and decide whether uh, such uh, indulgence will be allowed or not. And in this instance, that is exactly what happened here. Yes, and, and it's uh, hopefully going to assist the defense then tomorrow to allow the trial to, to, to proceed. Just from experience, if in this statement there was something uh, more concerning that defense might need more time, can they apply for another postponement? Or having been given 24 hours, is that regarded as sufficient uh, a time for them to have uh, studied what's been presented as new statements by the prosecution? Well, you must understand that um, reasonableness is a question of fact at hand. So it might happen very well and very likely that they might uh, bring a formal application tomorrow to request the presiding officer to, to give a further postponement and indulgence to study certain aspects which they only uh, became aware of after perusing these further statements and evidence that you've uh, alluded to. Um, so it happens from time to time that we do encounter such uh, requests by the state, but then it will obviously be a formal uh, application before court. Uh, and, and, the, and the magistrate must then decide the judge, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Senzo Mewa was shot and killed in 2014, and, and, and some of us recently had just uh, forgotten some of the details, and uh, there's this Netflix series, and uh, I watch all the five episodes at uh, the weekend, and just repeating this and repeating that. It's, uh, there were people in that house, and earlier authorities, including the police minister, Begikele, at the time, promising to bring to book those uh, who've been responsible. And these men, who are now accused of this, the five of them have practically said, no, they are scapegoats. I mean, this is very complicated trial. Yes, one must be very careful um, to to be uh, to be following this type of Netflix series and other uh, similar programs uh, before the trial basically have commenced and all the evidence is provided. But the timing, the, the timing uh, of it. Sorry, sorry, advocate. The timing of it. My colleague, this Linda Lomasigan, was also referring to the interesting timing because uh, it just dropped on Netflix last week and there's been a lot of publicity and comment around it. That's why I was just mentioning it. Yeah, no, the, the, the bottom line is obviously, and, and, and in this instance as well, the court will not uh, be prejudiced by looking or watching the TV series or the, the Netflix series in this regard. Um, hopefully, and uh, the, the, the state will also ensure that any evidence that came about as a result of the, the, the series itself um, will be uh, excluded for as far as it's irrelevant to the, to the facts at hand. Uh, and hopefully, if not always, the court will not be prejudiced one way or another and be biased towards either favoring the state or the defense um, mm. after uh, having a look at some of these incidents that uh, okay. is evident from the, the series itself. So yeah, um, no, that is unfortunately point. how the yeah. law works. Yeah. yeah. No, that's important. It's important to raise because it's in the public domain. Thank you very much. Now, Harry Nell telling our, our reporter earlier today outside court that he's ready to get going, and he represents the family, uh, the, the sisters and the mother of Senzo Meiwa, and saying that he believes the police have done more investigations and we should expect more arrests. In fact, he says, and we played that uh, bite a little bit earlier, that uh, they know who the mastermind of the murder of Senzo Meiwa was. Well, if that is so, and let's assume for one second that is the true set of facts and correct statement, 
then obviously further uh, arrests will be made. And nothing prohibits the state either at that stage to then also prosecute uh, the, 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 the new or additional members of the gang that was responsible for this hideous murder. Alternatively, and on the assumption that this current trial have already been commenced with, then obviously they will then be arraigned in a separate trial to stand also uh, arraigned on murder charges separately from the one currently before court. So that can happen at any stage. And uh, for, for what it's worth, the state has um, uh, more than 20 years to prosecute uh, those that are responsible, even if they can only be arraigned and arrested after uh, completion of the current trial before court. Okay, finally, Advocate K. Lewis, you are the expert. You are the criminal law expert. What should we be looking out for as this trial begins in terms of, uh, of its proceedings? Well, um, it's trite law that the state will first and foremost uh, provide the, uh, the presiding officer with all the state witnesses. Now, that can be those mentioned already in the list in the indictment, attached to the indictment. That's typically what happens. But we might even see that the state uh, add further witnesses as evidence come out in open court. Um, so that might not be the end of the list of names that we see on the uh, indictment. Uh, once the state closes its case, at that stage, then obviously only the defense will have the prerogative and opportunity then to decide whether they're going to call the various accused before court to, to come and testify in their own defense, alternatively call witnesses on their behalf without calling the accused themselves, or they might even uh, decide not to call anybody and close their case and remain silent. So there are basically those three options available uh, as the, 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 the matter proceeds to the finalization. Okay, we're going to have to wait and see what's going to transpire in this case. Thank you very much for your time, your, your insights there. That's Advocate Llewellyn K. Lewis. He's a criminal law expert, just giving us some of his comment on the Senzo Meiwa murder trial, which uh, started today, was postponed, uh, adjourned just for 24 hours, set to resume at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning.